I got a good start uh, Friday night. Solid win, solid win at Gardendale. Uh, what were some things you saw, some things that you could build on? What were your thoughts and assessment of your team's performance Friday night? Our defense was uh, really strong. We really we held them seven. They scored 14, but we gave one up on offense. And uh, our offense was uh, strong as well. We threw it well. We ran it well. We've got some little areas we, we, we still think we can improve on, but it, it was exciting. Coach, what are your thoughts on, on the kicking game? I know you lost Lasagna from last year. Some people thought that the kicking game might suffer a little bit this year. How did you think the kicking performance was you know, week one? Well, it wasn't as good as we'd like for it to be. But uh, we, we think we've got some young men that can take care of that. And we will miss Justin, but he's on to the next part of his life now. But we'll, we'll, we'll be better in our kicking game. Coach, talk about your uh, senior quarterback, Carl Tigner. Uh, you know, a lot of people last year he made the transition from safety to quarterback. He just seems to get better and better every week. Talk about his maturation process and how much he means to you at try the, the, the offense you at trust. Well, he, he is the guy that gets the ball every snap. So it, he's got a year's experience under his belt, and uh, he has matured, and uh, he's gotten better at all phases, running it, throwing it. And now he's seen all of that for a year, so. He was a lot better Friday night than he was a year a year ago. Jake Wilkes was our leading leading carrier, a number of carries Friday night. Jake's quick, he's shifty, catches the ball well. He'll be a big part of our offense as well. Ryan, your your questions. Well, for I wanted to ask, you know, you get your big rival in week two. How do you avoid putting too much emphasis on this game? Because it's a big game to a lot of people around you, but just treating it like any other game, how difficult is that? Or do you treat it like any other game? Well, we just, it, it is a rivalry game, but it really doesn't matter where it is, if it's first, second, fifth, or tenth, because our folks are excited and Clay's folks are excited. But it's a region game, and it counts just like all the other region games. So we'll, we'll try to approach it uh, the same way we do all the others and not get too high or not, you know, too all excited. Just be ready at Friday night at 7. And I remember, you know, when we talked last year at this time, your quarterback, you know, like you said, he was just kind of making the transition. Do you feel like, and I don't know how much of the playbook you had with him at that point last year, where, where was it then and where is it now as far as, you know, kind of what you felt comfortable to call? Well, we're ahead of where we were. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, I, I think the big thing is uh, our, our staff does have more confidence because Carr has more confidence. It, it's... It's easy to see at practice he has more confidence. And he, he sees things a lot better that uh, you just, you, there's just no, there's just nothing that you can, uh, that you can do without that experience. I mean, you can do it, but without the experience, it's just not the same. And so we're, we're a year ahead of that now, so he's playing good and we're, we're excited. Coach Riddle, we're very thankful for you being here with us tonight. Uh, best of luck in the Clay Chartwell game Friday night, and best of luck for the rest of the season. Appreciate Thanks, you being guys. here. Thank you for asking. All right, thank you. Uh, Coach, we appreciate you being with us tonight. Wow. Well, that, that was overwhelming, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but the season got off to a good start Friday night. Solid, impressive win over Minor. Uh, what, what was your assessment of the game? What, what you saw? Uh, that, that, that was some good things Friday night. Well, you know, uh, we overcome a sluggish first half, and I thought the kids did an outstanding job of staying with the plan. We wanted to snap the ball fast. We felt like that would be an advantage for us. And, uh, you know, we, we, we just made some mistakes early in the game, and, and the kids kept playing, and it ended up like we like we needed to. Okay, well, you, tell us who you brought with you tonight, uh, Coach. Well, this is senior uh, wide receiver Justin Burdett and senior offensive lineman uh, Matt Allen and senior defensive end Allen Box. All right, guys. Appreciate y'all being appreciate y'all being here tonight, uh, Coach. Uh, your, your offense led by quarterback uh, Jake Thomas. Uh, kind of assess his performance uh, game one and uh, how, how you see uh, him as a contributor on the offense this year. Well, Jacob has a lot of tools that bring a lot of elements to our game. You know, he can run the football very well, but he can also throw. And uh, we put a lot on him. We let him check us into good plays and that kind of thing. So uh, he, he's an outstanding player, outstanding leader for us. Ryan, your question. The, the, the old saying goes, you make your most improvement from game one to game two, and obviously that's this week. Do you believe that as a coach? Is that true? Well, I do, but I believe we had game one the week before in the Champions Challenge. Yeah. That was a 
that was a pretty decent football team we played, and uh, we, we did a little better than I frankly thought we would as far as mistakes go. Uh, I think we found out that we were tough enough to compete on that level and uh, had enough speed to kind of hang in there with folks. So uh, I, I thought we saw great improvement this week, but it is true from the first game to the second game is the most improvement. Now, I, I know every game is important to a coach, but do you, when it's a big rivalry game like this one, do you, is it more fun to coach in one of those games, a little bit more fun than just any other game? Well, it's a lot ble better than playing somebody like Daphne that you know nothing about, <laughs> yeah. and all that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, it's really fun for the fans, like Coach Riddle said. And, uh, you know, we, we, we enjoy it. We think the rivalry has become a, a good, solid rivalry with respect on both sides. Uh, we think the fans are handling this thing properly and the boys are going to handle it properly. So it, it's one of the finest rivalries in Alabama, without a doubt. Coach Hood, yeah, I, I agree. You know, big, big game, uh, you know, kept coming up Friday night. And I know, uh, you know, just and sometimes it's hard to kind of keep it in perspective. You know, that's, it's just game two on your schedule, so it's not, you know, you know, you win or lose, there's still a lot of football left to be played. So how, how do you how do you balance the, the focus of that being the next game and it being you know the big rivalry game? Well, a lot of folks have asked me if I like playing it early or late. I really like it early because if you win, good for you. You're one and zero in the region. If you lose, you're you got all year to recover and, and still make the playoffs and have an outstanding season. So you know it's a great way to get the the year started. Coach Hood, appreciate you being with us. Now, congratulations on the success last year, all the way to the third round uh, against Hoover, uh, and continued success this year. Best of luck the rest of the year. Thank you very much. Coach Jerry Hood and the Clay Chauvel Cougars, ladies and gentlemen.